My bad. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah. So, um, where did where was I? What was I saying? I forget. Basically, uh, yeah, I, I got to listen to Douglas Cobb. You know, cry and whine and cry and whine. Um on a live stream, right? So he was upset. Let me just give you a synopsis of what has happened. So my, so I hadn't, so when the whole thing with um, Steph and that him showing twice now, he, sh he showed it twice, right? I was told the revenge, revenge on the live stream, whatever, whatever. I, I got a clip of that. Actually, I think it was from him or somebody else afterwards because I was like did you really do that but I hadn't talked to him during so when he did that I wasn't taught we weren't talking we weren't talking at all I had no idea what he was up to he's a triggered 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 incel of a man right so he did that not sure why he did it that picture obviously was out there for a while whatever I do not like stuff at all uh, and even after he did it, I stupidly was like, yeah, that's really messed up and blah, blah, blah. Like, why is she taking you to court? All the bullshit. Now I see why. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that he even yelled revenge, revenge says so much. Like, so much about him. And sorry, German lady and whoever else that supports Yoda or Douglas Cobb, but all that all 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 bets are off with that dude and you know I can't stand this YouTube shit at all but I literally heard this psychotic mental patient tonight mention my son's full like my his name right and then to see that a sock account who's it's obviously ran by Suzelle right and I'm allowed to talk about her I don't have I'm not just because I'm in a relationship with uh, the father of her children I don't have uh, I don't have any active open court cases like that so I can say whatever the hell I want but what I'll say is this I saw that you know she's under that NSB Bumzio account and she's posting videos and mm -hmm. she's posting screen recordings where Yoda or Douglas Cobb is showing off screenshots he does not want me to show screenshots I have things that could incriminate him with Steph if I wanted to okay um, he forgets that he sent me a lot of stuff about his like the legal stuff going on with like the private investigator a lot of stuff he really does not want to mess with me i told him i told him multiple times do not you do not want to do this dance with me you don't if there's something about rejection that's really hard for men in general but then men who live with their their parents it's very hard so going back um so when it, when did the showing the picture happen i don't know but then my mom got really sick she had a heart attack in uh the day after christmas or yeah it was the day after christmas and i was talking to yoda then and i was super scared i thought she was on a ventilator for 22 days so i was really 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 terrified that my mom was gonna die and when you get into a state where you're just kind of like, I, I wasn't talking to anyone uh, personally about anything. I, I, I'm not very close with my family like that, but with my mom and dad, I'm, I love them to death, so it's it's different, right? But, um, so I was talking to Yoda, and it's funny, he comes around when, when, when I'm at my, when I'm having low points, and when I remember things that were told to me, people had warned me about this dude since I started going on YouTube. They had warned me, they had warned me, they had warned me, warned me, and I never listened. I never listened because then what happened, I started getting trolled by people and then we kind of like linked up to like, okay, we're going to kind of like, we're going to like fight them together. I didn't know the backstory about Yoda. I didn't know that he had so many, so many people didn't like him. Literally like to me, so I have always been like a champion for underdogs. I've always liked helping like people who, who aren't, you know, kind of like the losers in school like I was always even though I was a cheerleader in high school and stuff I was always cool like I always liked like the ones that I could be school shooter types I was always told to be nice to them and always thought give people a chance Yoda is no exception to that right he came around weirdly around the time that I got trolled he came around before then 
a shout out to Punky because Punky, you know, uh, gave him told me that he wanted to talk to me one day or whatever and punky introduced us and no offense girl but like i really wish he hadn't um so he came around and he told me all you know he saw that i was fighting with i think at the time it was asmr and ac and all those maybe not ac at the time but he saw there was weird stuff going on and there's still there was it's not a joke like there was trolling whatever and he kind of wanted to like take me under his wing and it turns out that like he's just somebody that had been fucked with harder than anyone's ever fucked with me i didn't know the extent until honestly recently after talking to a lot of people about him i didn't know so many people hated the dude so many people hated him and still do when i started going live for the first time he obviously encouraged me to keep going live and he you noticed he was always like what he wanted to be a co-host and all that bullshit right he always wanted to be the co-host okay he was my he was always there he always went live with me i didn't know like he people hate him they hate me but they hate this dude and i see why when i heard the story of him showing bankruptcy papers um about polly crispy who i thought they were friends um and he would i remember there was a live stream where andrew like pretty much doxed yoda and everything and showed um showed like showed whatever he showed but then showed emails where like yoda was volunteering information to people that's what he does that's what he does the person who sent me uh the email with the four doxes of bird um sancho joe cool and the other guy uh bones um came from what was some proton email thing and it was i thought it was a ethyl gummage how the fuck do i know that that wasn't yoda honestly there's a lot of bullshit that's going on uh yoda talking behind the scenes with tom i'm sorry i'm not even reading the chat this is all pent up stuff right so yoda talking behind the scenes with tommy d about me tommy d who i thought we were cool for a while right but tommy isn't cool with anybody he will literally use anybody to push his platform where i thought he had a positivity platform but no he's exploiting a mental health patient he's exploiting someone i thought was his friend these people are all weird youtube's fucking sick but going back to yoda so then to see that yoda is sending screenshots i have not shared a screenshot yet but i'm going to to hear zell say that he sent pictures of me to him to her i would love to know what those pictures are um did he send pictures of my son to zell who knows was he the one that told me with my son's picture originally starting to think that the rumors out there are true there's a lot of stuff that i could say about you and i still have i'm still not doing it yet but yes to clear things up yes i did call his mom and i did tell his mom uh, I left her a long, lengthy message, and I said, tell your son to stop contacting me, okay? So me and Yoda stopped talking uh, end of May because he made a comment where he implied that I'm nothing like, like that I'm just like Steph, basically, and all this stuff. But even during that time, like, I didn't, did I lead Yoda on? Yes. Did he buy me a ring? Yes. Did I... I do, was it worth seven thousand? I highly doubt. I, do, I mean, he was sending me things from eBay, like, uh, like that were like twenty bucks. So I, I, I highly doubt it. I'm not stupid. And then Yoda, I saw a bunch in the last one of the last live streams you did. You had a bunch of like Confederate flag shit. Listen, I'm not doing the race baiting shit, but I think it's pretty interesting because you said that you're against Confederate flags and all that. But he's a lot. You're a liar, dude. You're a fucking liar. And I'm sorry if I'm going all over the place. I'm just so fed up with the bullshit. And I would, I still would have kept quiet. You can ask Nunzio. I was going to still keep quiet about this dude until I heard out of that filthy, foul mouthed, psychotic, junky bitch's mouth tonight. My son's name. And then to know that she's been in contact with Douglas Cobb, 
okay? So you're very lucky I haven't contacted your sister. That's going to be next. Yoda threatened to call my parents. So after everything, after I, after he knew people from YouTube had called my parents, I have a text of him saying he wants to call, or an email, saying he wanted to call my parents because he's concerned about my mental health and all this stuff. This is what people who get rejected do. They're upset, so they call you crazy. They call you this. They call you that. He cannot possibly believe that I'm with Nunzi. He could not take it. He could not take it. That's sick. And then people are saying, or people are messaging me being like, oh my God, Yoda's going crazy saying that now he has some like beautiful Nubian girlfriend. I applaud him if he does. I don't give a fuck. Do I believe it? No, because a lot of the shit that comes out of Yoda's fucking sideways hippopotamus ass mouth mouth is lies. He lies a lot. Okay, what happened to he's too good for YouTube? Get out, he doesn't go around that community and all this stuff. He's in Rebel, no offense, Rebel, but he's in your chat all the time. He dangles carrots of money in front of everybody. What happened to him in Anarchic Chick? Okay, what happened to him? I heard he had an obsession with Carolina of Fourth Worth. I don't even know these people. I know. I know he used to be obsessed with Sh uh, Chick Chick, and then when she would kick him off the panel because she'd have Rada around on panel or anybody that he de he deems uh, a demon or whatever uh, that he's jealous of, it's you know he'd get mad and he docks. That's why I don't give a fuck about doxing him anymore. He showed a picture. He showed I I mean that that NSD Bumzio account has conversations between. Suzelle and him and it's him sending just screenshot after screenshot and if you read the conversation between him and Suzelle he's literally saying that I'm crazy and I you know um she's just upset because so many people have trolled us there's no us Yoda yes yes at one point I did uh show that I you know I would say that I liked you and uh all these things I would say that hold on one second 